Back out picking. Wish I could say it was a great looking day out, but it isn't. Overcast. It is about 65 though, so comfortable. Let's go see what we find. Prepare for the fair. Hey, the big flag's going up. You can see way over there, they've got the Ferris wheels set up for the Volusia County Fair. So the market's on this side for a few more weeks. Oh, I got enough of those, though. Remember my NASCAR treadmill video? <laughs> Still sitting on about a hundred of those things. Oh, this is cool. Well, it's too cold for us Floridians. Wind's whipping. Look at this. The mother load. That's a lot of time. That is awesome. Man, instant construction junkyard right there. Okay, Chris, stop. Keep it moving. Look at this. Respect for laying it out like this, too. Neat to see all this old stuff. Hey, look who showed up with me. My new picking buddy. Yeah, right. Finish line Manny. Out here again. Good to go picking father and son here. Too bad Josh can't make it out. He's working. But someday. What are these? What are those? Uh, how much? How much is it? Hundred bucks for everything. Hundred bucks for everything. Right or equal separated. Good stuff too. It's two for one, honey. Yeah, better stick to what we're out here for. I'll be buying the sandbox. Right. How much you got for your little cars, bud? Oh, the cars today. I made one. Take ten bucks for all of it. Yeah. All right. I don't turn your hats. Sorry about Twenty bucks for all custom airbrush. We paint them. Okay. Yeah, you you cannot buy it in any store. You know. Yeah. The hats they're going up to thirty-five dollars when you go to the mall today. You know. I know. I'm yeah. doing custom airbrush for twenty. Okay. I saw you last week. Uh... Yeah. I watch your channel on time. Oh, do you? Yeah, my kids. Chris, man. Yeah, my, my, my love the channel, man. Oh, That's thank great. you, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it. Okay, let us dig through here. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. It's really good. Yeah, I saw him. He's running around. Is that worth it? Yeah, because you could take some tampons off and stuff. Nice cocoa. There's a nice one. See if I can find. Ooh, Como wheels. Look at this. Highway 35 car. Jackpot City right there. Kitty Moose. Wow. Manny, you just blazed over that one. 
That was over on your side. Yep, couldn't see the forest for the trees, kid. What is this? What is this, man? Oh, look at that. One of the static models, though. There's a roll. I thought I just saw a Titan for a second, but I didn't. Making an even five here. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Does that mean all of these are hiding here? See that many? Yeah. For another one. Somebody might have fired already and going, you're missing it. Just one more. One more and I'm good. Oh, uh, Volvo. I like this. Okay, I'm going to get this 43 car. Right. This guy's got a cool little booth here with these things. I'm just looking at these for nostalgia. This, this is probably, might be where it all started for me. Little wooden cars like this. Stuff. Look at these. Normally I have a ton of stuff, but I don't today. How much you getting for these? I got five. Those those NASCAR ones, believe it or not, they're they're pretty expensive. They're hard to find too. I wish I had a whole set. I don't even have a whole set myself. Tough for me to pay five though. I see them two for. Could you do two for five if I took them all from you? So you got one, that 10, 15, 20, 25. I, I can't do that. Because when I, I do the turkey run, these will bring 10 dollars. Yeah, yeah, no, hey, I get that. Turkey run yeah. brings better prices. See, that's another reason I didn't bring money. <laughs> you know, that, that's going to be here before you know it. About 30 for all of them. do that okay appreciate you and i don't want to but i will well thank you for that <laughs> going to a good home way too soon yeah what'd you find there bud man he's like oh dad don't look there's nothing there oh, I'm out now. i'm telling you look at this i love these man wow oh that's cool yeah, no. this is cool Ma'am, how much for your little cars? One dollar. One okay. Not the cheapest, but hey. Wow, I don't have that. This thing's crazy. What brand is that? Oh, it's a mic set. Oh. Somebody commented that I'm being too rough on the cars, but I mean, come on, guys. Look at the, how these things are sitting in here. Trust me, I've got uh, skilled hands. I'm not that rough. Look at that. Get five bucks for it. See what else we can find. Is that faster than ever? Faster than never. That's pretty neat. Not for a buck. Nah. This might be worth a buck, though. Hey, 
Yeah, I could sit here all day and dig through this, but I've reached my limit. I'm gonna get these. I got five cars, but look at these kicks. Got some fives right here. Oh, missing the meshing now. We can't fix that. Yeah, too bad we're not up north. I don't know if I'd rock that color, Manny. These are wild. Personally. Those yeah, are kind of wild. Yeah. Gotta be that guy. Keep it. Some cool signs out here. Look at Bobby's booth. Bobby's booth's always pretty killer. I'm gonna make her a chain for $80. There he is. Great deals and everything in the booth. It's all gotta go. I can't bring it home where I can't come home. You don't like my prices? Make me an offer. I ain't in love with none of it. I'm here to sell it. The more you buy the cheaper it gets, you buy it all. I'll throw in the truck, the tables, the merchandise. One price, you're in business. The wife just called. She said, don't bring nothing home but money. <laughs> I love it. You guys got the spiel for free. Look at that. Stand still, guys. Stand still. How you been, Bobby? Good? I'm good, man. Hey, last week, me and Derek were out here. Look at this. Wow. Red lines, slot cars, Johnny Lightnings. Yeah. We were out here riding a tandem bicycle last week. Wow, that must have been With a flat tires, to see. me and Derek, right? Sorry, I didn't have that on video. Well, <laughs> look. Hey, look at the t shirt. Oh, wow. Look at that. Bike buddies. Look, he's got one over there. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Carol's got one on next to us over here. She's got one I too. See. That's cool. Yeah, have fun with it, man. It's awesome. Hey, you gotta have one all the time. If not, the heck are you doing, it's right? Not worth doing that. That's right. Take out the girl boards. Manny, you had one of those. Yeah. Well, you not still got one, right? Yeah, I still have one. You got a different one. This is cool with the jaw stuff. Yeah. Hey, put the mustache out there. Many. Selling that whole box of cards, 15 bucks. Selling the whole thing. 15 dollars. All right, I'll get that from you. How much you got in this tackle box? Um, I'll do 50 bucks on that whole box with the reels in it. All right, I'll show my son that one. So 15 for this, huh? Yeah. All right. We got the Hot Wheels in the Hot Wheels case for 15 bucks. Man, I would love to get this and go through it with you guys, but 175 for the whole bin. A little steep. Oh man, three bucks on the trucks. How much I need is this a price? One buck. Oh yeah. Look at this funny car for a dollar. This is cool, the old mini. It's a neat one. This is really cool. Kind of newish though. This is awesome. Let's see if I can find five bucks worth. Get this saline right here. Two bucks each on a NASCAR. One day, Manny and I are going to come out here and shop for you guys. Then we're going to put the stuff up on whatnot. So I know you guys have commented that sometimes these NASCAR are a great price. You're right, at a dollar each. That's crazy. Twenty-five cents each year. Some of these are really good cars for the price. Look at this. Now it's missing the piece. Uh, 
Dang, too bad that's missing a piece, man. Yeah. Put some oil on it, it'll flip out, you know. It needs oil. Yeah, it needs oil. See that thing right there? Yeah. You move that over. This. This in the How much are you trying to get for that set? Well, I got the cars right here and the manual. All right. Yeah. So I'd like to get like uh, 50 for all of it. For all of it? Yeah, with the cars. I didn't research the cars or nothing. Is all the track in there? That, I don't know. I never pulled it out. But the people I've been getting this stuff from, it seems to be. I mean, I look down through here and I see connectors and I see these things. Yeah. You know, I tell you what I'll do, $40 for all of it. Just to move it. Let me see what I got left. You guys, look what I got for 30 bucks. Might have to tap out early today. Didn't bring a lot of cash with me. Look at this. <laughs> cool stuff at the market this week. That's why, I know what you're saying, but it ain't there anymore. So we've only gone down two aisles. <laughs> I'm almost tapped out. Here's the dollar part. That's what I need about right now. Oh, look, Manny. That's the only way you could work on your car back in the day. I had to go buy a Chilton manual or a Haynes. Got one of these pretty mint though. Yeah. yeah. There might be some stuff mixed in here, but not too much. Let's keep it moving. Looks like Dom already wrecked it. Now we're still going here. Got one, two more aisles to go now. I'm not finding much down here though. There she is. She no cars, huh? That's okay. That's hey. Don't go dig because I I don't have much money this week. You have a few. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll look real quick right here. That way, it's not too far. And how much are these? Uh, three for two. Three for two. Manny, you want to come look? That is cool. You might find one for customizing. I feel like I dig through this vent all the time, but I never get to the bottom. What? Oh man, you gotta get that. See? Is it three for two? Three for two. See if we can find you one more here. Trying to get to the bottom of one corner. That's not a bad one, a Daytona one.
What do you think, Manny? Yeah. How much for just this one? 50 cents. 50 cents? Okay. Kind of spotted something right here. No way. What'd you find? What? Fast and Furious car, Manny. That's crazy. And an ultra hot 57 Chevy, too. This Mustang. Wow, these are pretty beat up. What'd you what? Hold on, man. You come down here that one. Yeah. It's a Civic. Where is this person? This is wild. That is crazy. Sorry if you guys are getting wind noise, it's whipping through here. Back, but it doesn't. Yeah, most of these are pretty beat. Even the ones Manny found are beat, but they're pretty rare, so you almost have to get those. You will find some goodies at the bottom of the barrel. Manny, you're gonna have a time customizing these. Well, this one is what, I'm what you want, this good. Dragon Ball Z guy? It's pretty cool. I'll ask him. No, no, just no, a he's just found a couple here. Just a few of them? Yeah. Do um, a dollar for those three? I can't do a dollar for those three because that taxi one. Well, let's put this one back. How about for those two? How about two dollars for the three? Okay. Check out what Manny got. What we get it for? Two dollars? Two bucks. Not too bad. Did we get the fifty-seven or we didn't? No. So I thought he was giving us two dollars for all three. Uh -uh. I was just a yeah. okay. Actually, did we mess up and not get the? That nah, is what it is. Many pounds. A slot card under it. I don't think I've ever seen this game, but it sure looks cool. Drag racing games. Oh, this would be awesome. This is neat. How much? Fifty-seven hundred bucks. Automatic. I'll tell you what, pretty clean for the price. Twenty bucks. You don't want those. You, you don't want those problems for twenty bucks right there. Can you imagine every morning? No, thank you. If I had a farm, it'd be cool. And the guys were coming up on vegetables here and random stuff. So. I think it's a good time to go home and see what we got. Oh, hold on, we just found more Hot Wheels. Oh, I'll be back in November. There you go. Do it. Hey, how's it going, brother? What's up, my man? How are you? I hear you, bud. A little colder paradise this week. Oh, it's been a good one, though. Yeah, it has. Look at those. Cannot complain. Oh, man. Feast your eyes on this. Now stuff, I'll be gone for a little while. Yeah. I got a couple of antique shows. We're yellow. You like yellow? Wow. Oh, man. I'm almost glad I didn't bring more money. Still doing a buck on these? Yes, sir. Okay. Still on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're famous, man. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Infamous, maybe. Look at the brat, that's cool. Can't get too many. I almost tapped out.
Hey, that's good. He's selective in life, man. No, at that age and he's selective, that's a good thing, man. Yeah, he won't yeah. just jump and everything's shiny, man. Right. It's awesome. I like that. He won't be easily the tempted. <laughs> What'd you? Oh, oh, oh. You gonna get that? Yeah, I was pointing out for you. That's real cool. To the first Corvette. <laughs> oh wow, that's. It, it has now but begun. <laughs> You like that one? <laughs> All right. I like that one. Hey, Paul. That's pretty cool. That Brumbo's on there. Look at this. Popo. Oh, one of these. Many remember these. There's a Benz. SRT. I wanted to get that last week. How much you got on these? Five bucks a piece. Five bucks? Not bad. All right, I'll just get these from you this week. All righty. You got that for a buck. And what else? I picked up that for a buck. Hey, oh, Check this out. Star Wars. Yeah, I kind of remember these too. They weren't on the shelf long. Look at this. Wow. Tripped on memory lane right here. Especially that thing. This is cool. A little bit bigger scale. Oh, yeah. This is cool. Mobile one. Oh, this thing's be... I always wanted to get those back when I was in slot cars and put a slot car motor in the back and make myself a slot car dragster, but never happened. This is what you need. All right, guys. Now I think we're all finished. Time to go home and see what else we got. Back home. Excellent day of picking. Such a beautiful day out, I decided to come all the way outdoors. Got a nice breeze, about 72 degrees out. Take a look at some cars on cars here. Look at this. Just saw this over on Mr. Grooves. You guys remember Race Grooves? He's got his channel Mr. Grooves where he's showing stuff. Nice vintage. Ferrari P4. Of course, not really vintage to us, but vintage to a lot of you young guys. Always a fun one. Check this out. The 82 Dodge Rampage. That's from what, 2020? 2020. Little ATV in the back. 65 Ford Mustang. Beautiful convertible. Awesome looking flame job. Wow. Just a great casting. I like the way they did the blister. It goes right over the windshield there. The part that always gets broken. Here's the SRT Hellcat. Passed this one up a couple weeks ago. Picked it up this week. Nice red. Our sun should be getting better as the video progresses. Right now it's right over there, so we're catching a little bit of shadow, but you can still see the nice paint job on these cars. 
SRT Viper GTSR. The wind's kicking up. Amazing deal right here. This guy gave me all this for $10. Bunch of repeats in here, but it's all right. Number 10, Ricky Rudd. Awesome looking Tide car. Wow. Oh, Signature Driver Series. That's not a real signature. Kind of looks like he grabbed the gold marker and signed it. It's neat. Another Ricky Rudd. Love the Tide car, man. Remember having like a 124 scale of this car as a kid. A little more square body when I was a kid, but here's a Hot Wheels Racing. Always love those. Number 25, Hendrick car. Here we have Bobby Hamilton, the signature car. These are cool because the hood opens. Neat. What is this, same car? Oh, we got some dupes, guys. We got some dupes. We got some dupes. We got three of them. Another Hot Wheels, number 16, Prime Star. That's a good one. From 1999. Oh, another Bobby Hamilton. It's a Hot Wheels car right there. So if we compare the Hot Wheels to the racing champions, you can tell right off the bat, he, he both did a pretty good job on the stickers, but the Hot Wheels just looks like a more complete car. Better scale too. Ricky Rudd. Uh-oh, the wind's getting to these guys. Too much draft. And some loose cars. Love these. These are the, I think they were called trading paint or something like that. So you can see it's got the rub marks from getting too close to another tire. Here he was in the wall, scraping the paint off. Man, that is awesome. We should do more NASCAR like that where it's already been raced. The cars even got a little lean to the left. Look at all the debris in the front. <laughs> that is that is cool. Number 60. When Dixie the Beast people. Man, great rolling car. Another number 60. That's power team. Celeron. The good roller. Number 46, Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> uh oh, locked up on the front. Now the tires got all kinds of stuff. That's a problem when rubber starts getting old. It starts picking up a lot of debris, just like the real tire. Hot one here. 35 Tabasco. how rubber makes is incredible. 97 interstate battery car. Rubber tire car. They all make a little different sound. Almost sound like a motor. Right, you guys stand at attention here. Either stand up or you're going to get laid flat. Here's a Matt Kenseth DeWalt car. Let's get it out of here. set up on it. Card goes in, car goes on. Actually go this way, I guess. Yeah, there you go. The 17 is the right way. Awesome. Now, all this stuff in this bag for 30 bucks. Well, even better deal than the last one because there is some beautiful stuff in here.
Oh, I lied. I can put some more stuff in there as well. up look at that steve mcqueen bullet car look at that green a little dusty but that's a good one man really nice green light what else we got here a nice johnny cars and coffee car Pretty stuff. Look at this. Dodge Rebellion. Always love these showstoppers, man. Got them in action in the blister. That is really neat. Oh, look at that little bonus wheelie stander. So you can keep them in a permanent wheelie on display. Cool stuff to read on the back. Here's a big Johnny Lightning card. Number 21, Donnie Allison. Man. From 1971 season. Love this era of stock car. Of course, I like all the eras. Even today's era is cool. Blue Max. Another favorite era in drag racing this time. Another car from 71, so... Here's what your drag car looked like in 71 and what your NASCAR looked like. Here is a 1957 Lee Petty Oldsmobile 88. That Rocket 88. Another stock car. 67 season here. David Pearson. Holman and Moody. Man, look at that candy apple red paint job. Beautiful with the gold wheels. Kind of a coppery wheel. Really neat. And here we got Dragon Lady. Drag On Lady. This was Shirley Shahan. Awesome. Oh, another stock car. Going back and forth here. Buddy Baker, 69 season. That Dodge Daytona with the big wang. And Johnny Lightning, Toyota Land Cruiser. Man, that thing's nice looking, huh? Look at those wheels and tires. You even got the correct spare on the back. Here's the series that came in. Nice. And some Hot Wheels. A nice Mini Cooper. Looks like a clown car. Here is a 40 Ford Coupe. Love the flat black on that thing. Somebody all the way across the lake is mowing their lawn. Took a little break to let the guy get finished with his lawn. All my stuff blew over. Give a second here. All right, back up. Look at this. 59 Caddy. Beautiful low rider. Awesome paint job. Chrome just shining. Nice. Guys, Mustang funny car. Pretty fast on the track. Not all funny cars are created equal. I don't think this one's ever won a King of the Hill. And the Saline. S7. Nice silver car. And a couple loose ones here. Aha breaker in great shape. Look at that back up. Beautiful. Good roller too. Tough to find these in good rolling condition. And they usually roll like this one. Never understood 
Well, I guess I do understand why Hot Wheels would make it with such a, see this elliptical part on the bottom end? I guess that's to protect the car if it gets stepped on. But as a result, they never roll well. If you want them to roll well, you gotta actually clip these things, which I'm not gonna do. So it's a shelf piece. The paint job's perfect. And look at that. Hot Wheels electric twin four barrels on it. Oh, he shot my prop off. stuff this stuff's not in as good a shape as what we just looked at but not bad shape either there's a pizza delivery guy slices to go well, in case your house is on top of a mountain you can still get pizza delivered with that guy got the nice 4x4 four four with a winch on the front there we have a unimog Topo Camaro. Uh oh, the wind's having its way again. Now we just let it do what it does. Below, there is a tool supply. Jeez, we got the domino effect going on. We won't open it all the way or I'll break it. Good little shock action. Here is. Another Unimog. I gotta tell you, look how well planned out I was. Between the light being at the wrong angle and the wind blowing like crazy, I feel like a rookie. That solves that problem. Where was I? The Unimog? Nice Unimog there. This is cool. Ready for a Dakar rally? You know where a couple real ones for sale are. Look at this. Nice dodge. A little bit of wheel wobble. Like they're still doing that with the circles, the plastic. I know they said that was a good idea, but it doesn't seem to be helping the wheels anyway. Let's give it a bigger axle. Save the best for last, right? Here's a number 43. Honey Nut Cheerios. Hey, I don't know if it was this car that inspired me to buy a box, but I just had a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios for the first time in a long time, and it was pretty good. Look at this. Hot Rod Hauler. That's neat. Is there a hot rod in the back? Oh, there it is. Still cool, though. Picked these up from one of our subscribers. He had a booth out there. Shout out to Mike and his kids. They had some cool stuff in that bin, including these Highway 35 cars. So needless to say, I had to pick that up with the coal mold wheels. Beauty. And this one. Awesome. I mean, that right there was worth it. Look at it. Wow, the wind's even rocking that trailer. Look at this, guys. I mean, come on. 24 car collector's case. Vintage, too. When's that from? That's from 1975. Wow. Almost as old as I am. Not quite. Hopefully we're not getting any wind noise or we'll have to end this high-budget film company release. goodies in here. Ah, this one's okay. It's just a matchbox. This is awesome. Number 63 4x4 four four truck. Sounds 
All right with the rib tires. Look at this. That's different. That's a matchbox. That's called the Super GT. <laughs> Very cool looking. Another 4x4. This is a Bronco. Yeah, look at that. Very good planning, Chris. Your entire shadow is over the vehicle. Ah, bulldozer. These things are always missing the treads. It says MB on it, so it's got to be Matchbox. The bird truck. Pizza guy on the front. That might be one for the junkyard. So I am working on the junkyard, guys. GT Sports. That is awesome. What is that? Super GT BR256. No, no. What kind of car is it? Great shocks on that thing. Convertible GT500. Nice one. 57 Chevy. The opening hood. Wow. Somebody stole the motor. What the heck? No motor? Man. It'd be cool to make a gas rod out of that thing. Stick a different motor in there. Look at this. Starfire. Back when I was a kid, you could write whatever you wanted on something and it made it cooler. Starfire, laser, super turbo. Good night. None of these have the, oh, the Super G, so these are all just Super GT series, They're not Super GT. This is, I don't know what that is, a Javelin maybe? Cool. Little generic T-Bird. Bike's not in bad shape. Feels pretty good. Easter 2012 car. Probably got that on card somewhere. There's a matchbox. A nice truck. A junkyard piece. That is perhaps the worst casting ever created. That is just dumb. And this thing. car, Texaco, wings a little loose, that's a Fletcher, Earnhardt, and White Incorporated, huh, maybe Dale Earnhardt had stake in a die cast company, not sure, Pace truck, missing the little cement mixer on the back or whatever was back there, look at this guys, Talk about a crazy, crazy print on a Viper. It's like somebody hand painted it on there. Man, awesome shocks. Great wheels too, look at that. It's like the guys at Matchbox were like, what wheels are we gonna put on there? Hey, go grab some of those leftover NASCAR wheels we got and throw them on the Viper. Works. Matchbox super fast. Race Tech Radios. Man, these, these cars just have incredible shots. Time for slow-mo. See how many bounces. And now we get down to the cars that are actually in a little case thingy. Look at how the old one was made. White. 
Still got the grid. It's supposed to keep the dirt off the cars and make the dirt fall to the bottom of the case. That is disgusting. I'll wipe all that out later. Man, what is that one? It's a Maisto. Pretty neat there. This caught my eye. I'm like, what the heck is that? Look at this thing. A little see-through car. This is a, what? This is a Hot Wheels. What was this, a McDonald's car or something? This is just weird. Made in China. I don't know, guys. It's like somebody at Hot Wheels said, ah, we're just out of ideas. Just uh, tell them to make whatever. With whatever they got laying around. Look at this. Rescue unit fire. Missing the ladder. Open top. Man. I don't know what one of these is for sale right now. Escort. R2000. What is flying around me right now? Guys, we have little scale pigeons flying around. Oh, what the heck? Is that? We're almost, almost finished. Let's see. We got a truck, Matchbox, Peterbilt. Oh man, they're always missing part of their bumper. That bewilders me. Here's a little Beamer, maybe. I don't know. See there? Five speed. Oh, Dodge. Dakota. Oh, wow. That's deserving of a slow mo. How many bounces? Good stuff, good stuff. Here it is. Happy birthday car. It's got a two on it, so. Guess it's for your second birthday. Let me dump these out. Carefully. Some of them don't want to come out. Geez, look how brittle, guys. That stinks. That's what these little white things are. Kind of falling apart, man. I probably shouldn't have even taken this out of there. But it is what it is. What can we do about it now? Nice little truck. All stuff around in. This. That is it's a Thunderbird. It's a plastic car. Yeah, that's a cheap Beautiful matchbox Ferrari. You won't go to slow mo, but you could see some great shocks. Good roller. Crack window in the front, though. Taxi. One of these things. There's a little. The truck that used to have a back, not sure what it was. A Euro plate on the front. This thing. It's a Super GT written on there. It doesn't say what kind of car. It almost looks like a Javelin or a Bricklin, but I'm not sure. It might just be a made up car. Look at this. I don't know what that is either. It kind of looks like a 928 or. I don't know. 
I'm baffled. Cool though. That one looks like a brick one or something. Man, great shocks. Man. I have to take these apart and see why the shocks are so good on these. And last in the case, a fire truck. No ladder. One last look at the case. The end. A high budget film company release. I don't even think I'm going to put the cars back in here, guys. Might break that brittle grid there. But need to have the case, that's for sure. Still snaps in place good. Beautiful graphics on the front. That is vintage. Well, guys, we're not done yet. One big thing left to look at. Feast your eyes on this. Wow. I mean, come on. Can you believe I found this out there? And I got it for $30. You know, Brian, he likes to start high and then he comes down eventually. Just look at this, though. You want to see a great review on this? Go on YouTube to Smackerel Cafe. Not sure what happened to that guy. He hasn't posted in a long time, but he used to do some great vintage Hot Wheels videos. This is probably the most impressive thing. This person bought it at Arlen's, whatever that is, for $12.99. <laughs> this is crazy. And this came out in 1970. Let's just say I may or may not have been born yet. Look at this on the back. It's got the entire layout of it. it said it's authorized by the spectacular new Ontario Motor Speedway located just 40 miles east of Los Angeles, California. You can read the rest. And another piece of history right here. Look at all the sizzlers. This one contains two, but I ended up getting four. Let's take a quick look at which ones I got. Huh. Man, that is just awesome. This is some silver, but hey, wheels are in perfect shape. I bet you these things still work. We're not going to find out on this video if they do, but... This and slot cars were probably a huge, huge thing in the early 70s. Slot cars were around way before this, but this is a cool little take on that. And this one is mint condition. This is live wire. I mean, this is so mint. Unreal. And last car in the set, another mint one. So I'm going to guess that probably these two cars came with this set. Could be wrong. That, the brochure. Wheels and wings. Wheels and wings. Oh, man, look at Wow. Dude. Now, this is when we used to be able to make some play sets. The rumblers. from the past this is oh man I'm gonna have to settle in with a nice warm cup of coffee and flip through this thing probably give me some ideas some long forgotten ideas I mean what look at this genius there's the fat track stuff that is awesome. And you can see, it was some fat track. The track looks to be in good shape. It's got the turn pieces in it. Well, guys, there you have it. The California 500 race set. Again, if you want to see a full display of this thing in action, go over to that Smackerel Cafe channel and check it out. Special shout out to my son, Manny. 
over at Finish Line Manny. He was the one that told me about this. Brent wanted to sell it to him last week, but Manny said, nah, I'll let my dad check it out and see if he wants it. Glad he did. Well, guys, that'll do it. Not a bad day of picking out there. Incredible day, actually. Can't complain. And once again, guys, sorry about my preparations here. What's wind noise to you guys is a nice gentle breeze on the face to me. All right, guys. Happy picking out there. Hope you find what you're looking for. Take care. I tell you what, I felt like a complete rookie out here. Whatever could go wrong was going wrong. Yeah, not every day can go perfect, right? what makes the good days better than others.